Hello everyone, YouTube is Alex here with part four of the Boom Beach mid-game crisis. Well, one thing that I've just been thinking of last night when I've been doing these videos, and it's kind of ironic, really. You know, I, I really thought to myself, you know, as I was getting into such trouble, you know, being in the mid-game crisis, as it were, I was really starting to think, okay, well, let's just do a video series about this, just because I'm I'm not alone with regards to you know, mid-game crisis with uh, too high of medals. You know, I'm not the only one here, but... But what I find kind of ironic is, up until this point, the past sort of five days, or however long I've been, you know, recording these videos, I've basically hardly ever been raided. I've just been... Yeah, I've had a couple, like, one, like one or two defences a little while ago, and then that's it. It's weird. And, like, last night, I'm still, as you can see, pretty stacked on resources and I haven't been raided it it's very very ironic <laughs> it's just like I I make this series about me getting raided all the time basically because of the whole metal system being a bit complete well being a bit stupid and guess what absolutely nothing has happened for it so uh, anyhow um, continuing from where we left off roughly as you can might be able to tell I have completely redone the base or at least I've uh, shifted everything around uh, and as you can also tell I have the HQ upgrade so I've got like rocket launchers and I've cleared out nearly all the trees there's a reason for this clump um, over there but even though I'm kind of my OCD is telling me get rid of them um, somewhere in there um, one second I need to pause the video and sorry about that you probably didn't notice a thing um, long story short my dad was coming upstairs and he was wondering what the hell was I talking about or who am I talking to anyway Ignoring all that, this is my new base design. Now, it's actually nice to have a base which is a bit, uh, you know, with I have now enough turrets to start to make the base a lot larger, um, which is well certainly the it's certainly the issue with lower level. You just don't have enough turrets to actually start building large and further back bases. And of course, as you can tell, this is a very much an anti-flank base. Even though um, with this brand, with this new design that I've done, it is certainly uh, not tested. But because, um, of course, I want to control <laughs> where everyone arrives. So I suppose starting from the front, have the same house wall here. House wall is pretty self-explanatory. It is just uh, a distraction. Basically, enemies come up from the beach, of course, and these turrets back here, this this, this front sniper the front cannon and the machine gun, they can at least get a couple of shots off while the enemy is just sat here destroying residence buildings. So it's literally just a distraction. Uh, sorry. Um, my two masterpieces are here. Uh, and I've done the whole boom mine trick. Uh, stuck these level 2 boom mines at the back. So not too sure how many people will spot that. They might spot the one behind the... Behind the uh, stupid keyboard. Um, behind here you'll probably see that one this one if you you have to be looking for it you can just see the side of it here behind his face so you have to you'd have to be looking for it but i suppose you 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 can see it i suppose and then immediately behind we've got uh, flamethrowers the two sniper turrets and the first mortar uh self explanatory i suppose the snipe these two snipers are placed purely for anti flanking and just because as you can see, they can still enemies can still got middle if they desired. Um, but yeah, it, it's just so if they, if 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 they try and push around the back or you know or try and like snake past here like the past these three mines and try and get to the arse end of my base, well they still be being they will be being heckled constantly by the rocket launcher. This rocket launcher can see every corner of the base. Maybe not this tiny bit here, but I mean it can see everything, so I'm not too worried about that. Boom cannon. Um, I'm keeping it in the center of the base still because it can cover most of the inside of the base as you can see and it's also quite separated from everything else because I do expect a lot of players to just barrage uh, this boom cannon away because it's usually a priority target possibly the rocket launcher but then once again it's mostly on its own just a few you know economy buildings um, at the back so speaking of economy buildings I know everyone will tell you don't put, you know, your dumb buildings at the front or something like that because you're giving them free GBE, basically. That is true, but like I said, this it's only the residents. I haven't, and, I mean, okay, I've got these two 
uh, storage chest here, but it's only really the residents um, that's just the distraction. Like I said, it's just so that the turrets can get a few shots off uh, before they can at least push in. So obviously that mortar can see that. These mortars here are, well once again, I suppose these are sniping mortars. The mortars can see all the way up directly the midline as well if, you, if you're, you're pretty much going straight through to the base. Uh, and it can see a huge amount of area, so these these will uh, basically be sniping mortars if you want to think about it that way. Uh, these two sniper turrets, well, it can see a lot of the side as well, of course, the middle, so don't attack me from the middle. <laughs> like I said, that's that's usually my strongest point. And since I seem to have a lot of heavy Zooka attacks um, that try and push up the left or right side, I have shifted the cannons, and these two are quite far out, and then these two are by the HQ. I Something keeps nagging in the back of my mind that maybe I should put um, maybe like a machine gun or something around the HQ because like you know I've got three single shot buildings right on the HQ I mean yeah okay the rocket launcher will shoot everything but it's a lot of single shot buildings and something keeps nagging and maybe I should just try and push something back I don't put flamethrowers at the back I used to uh, where the HQ is because that's usually because if you have heavy zooka well the flamethrower is going to sit there for quite a while just cooking the heavies and the zookas can still um, get their shot I mean the zookas don't even get in range so that's that, but I suppose on on the flip side, these mortars will still be able to hit you know at least this side of the HQ. Um, obviously, ignoring the rocket launcher. But if you try and heavy zooka rocket launchers, do shock them because obviously the rocket launchers can fire over uh, the heavies and hit your zookas. I that's happened to me so many times now. And of course, economy around the outside, it's still being covered by a lot of turrets. So you could you could worm your way to the very back of the base and start. You know, hammering at these things, but once again, you you can see by the circles here, they're still in range. I mean, this rocket launcher will see you no matter where you go, um, just just shy of these two houses and the beach. But if you if you're in the green space, you're pretty much still seen. Now let's um let's just save this uh, this thing, and then let's I'll, now I'll just elaborate when I said about the other design of my base here, which is the uh, fancy or the nice design. The whole point of this design is obviously it's not for defense, it's purely for losing medals, although I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, and I would say a lot of this stuff has l more logic to do with an economy standpoint. So, you know, you've got like residents near your quarries and you've got your storages near the appropriate building, so iron mine, iron storage, uh, so on, you know, these trees here where the wood supply is just and then I just threw a couple sniper turrets and machine guns, just, just throwing stuff around, it didn't really matter, boom cannon. If you did decide to try and farm GBE for the hell of it, uh, Rocket Launcher once again will see you mostly. Um, obviously all the buildings here, and then the I, I, if I had one more mine, I would have the arrows both the same size, but I didn't, I'm didn't. i missing a mine for some reason, so yeah, here we go, just <laughs> basically saying, hey, come attack me, and then three mortars here. So this uh, you'd probably have a bit of an issue if you were using warriors or something because uh, mortars can see the base uh, even from back there and the, and the rocket launcher can so the rocket launcher might still hit like heavies if they did decide to just walk on the beach but yeah and then two snipers so it's pretty it's mostly defenseless <clears throat> I'm just saying that but anyway let me go back to my other base but one thing I was just mentioning about uh, medals in general is like I said, I'm not being attacked a lot recently. I don't know if this is because it's Christmas, uh, or it has been. Uh, by the way, Merry Christmas to everyone, and it's it's Boxing Day now when I'm recording this and uploading this. But hope you had all hope you had a good Christmas. Um, hope you, hopefully you got all you uh, all you wanted. And in my case, I just got a bunch of money, which is being spent on my main computer. I'm gonna probably get a bet. Well, a pretty decent graphics card for that sort of money. Anyway, so. Um, but yeah, what I mean is I'm not being attacked a lot recently, and it's just getting to the point where as long as I try and keep around 200 victory points, if I just try and keep it there, I might not need to go go whole sort of, well, hey, come and, you know, take some medals off me, take some resources, you know, that sort of thing. So we'll have to see how that goes, but that, that's just anyway. And as you can see, I'm upgrading one of my machine guns, my latest edition, uh, the rocket launcher I did yesterday over Christmas. And then this machine has been upgraded. Anyway, I'll stop rabbiting on. As everyone should know, there is this thing on the map now. There's a, there's a massive amount of speculation to what that's going to be. 
I uh, plenty of people have done speculation videos, so I'm not going to join them just because I'm going to waste time otherwise. Uh, we have a couple of Dr. T to take down, and that's about it. Oh yeah, my diamonds, by the way, have gone up a lot recently from what they were. Um, let's just say I think because of Christmas, the uh, chests of diamonds that you get around the map uh, seem to contain loads of diamonds. I had one this morning that contained 13 diamonds, so a lot more than you're usually expecting from a little chest like that, so that's been helpful. Plus, there's been quite a few uh, submissions uh, with resources in. I got just a random one here for iron, even though I don't exactly need iron. Um, and then that's that. I did lose a resource base. I may as well just show you the battle very quickly. I'm just going to put it into full time speed, but um, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, as you can see, I kind of had a nice OCD design, but this guy was a higher, well, obviously higher level than me. I, I'm not really fussed, but you know, I've got plenty. I, I I own a lot of resource bases, still. So, I mean, th this this strategy did take a lot out of his troops, but uh, he did he did get there in the end. So, there yeah, that's that. Um, and I think what are the uh, levels up now? The flamethrower got upgraded. These machine gun these cannons are upgraded. They're still the same. Level 9 snipers. I could take it back, but nah, I'm not going to waste the troops. Anyway, let's do Dr. T. Let's try and get these video. I mean, th all these videos seem to average around uh, 20 odd minutes, uh, it seems. So let's. You never know. I might get all my things done and actually have arguably time to spare, but uh, let's blow up all these. Barrage has been upgraded, so it's actually quite nice to be able to at least take down standard buildings because I couldn't even do that before. Can I take down that? That is so close to being dead. Y y you know what? Heavies only. <laughs> because it's stage one we're going to do heavies only. That machine gun's not going to be able to do crap. And then uh, HQ please. <laughs> we're not even going to bother with the Zookas. We're just going heavy. The reason I use heavy Zooka is like I've said many times, I don't like to use diamonds to restock my troops, unless I'm confident enough that I'm going to be able to take down a uh, specific level or base or something like that. Um, we might we might as well drop the Zookas just because the heavies are taking a while. They might actually, by the time the Zookas have walked up, they, I bet you the HQ would have gone down. But um, There's the only problem with all heavies. Heavies are just, they, they use, well they're just too slow. But anyway, here come the first batch. That should uh, pretty much finish it off. I arguably probably didn't need them. Like I said, they took take so long to walk. So anyway, yeah, let's continue. Stage two. Stage two with the shock launcher. Eh, I'm not that fast, to be honest. Um, these two. Could probably be double shot. I could probably double shot that, and it's just a shock launcher. So, eh, whatever. As long as the shock launcher hits the heavies or something like that, I'm not too fast. So, boom, boom. That should get rid of those cannons anyway. Oh, it didn't. Well, it will now. Boom. And you know what? I may as well just do this, and then. Ow, that hurts the Zookas a lot. Um, you know what, I'm just going to throw down a med kit. Just because... Just because. And then there we go. I'll let I'll let them do their own thing. Although it looks like they're going to go straight for the HQ anyway. Well, I didn't lose any. Didn't lose any troops, so... If stage 3 is doable, we can probably go on to that. And, and I'll tell you one thing, actually. I did find a suitable level player. Uh, which I might actually take down. Because, like I said, I don't normally attack players, but uh, if it's arguably weak enough, I might try it. My cry mini Christmas. What is it? Uh, not with that many shocks. Machines are not. Yeah, this is. T I told you, going from stage 2 to stage 3 is a massive difference. I mean. If these shocks weren't there. I, I could probably do it. Especially since sh shocks do seem to hurt my uh, Zugas a fair bit. Anyway, where, where was that suitable level player? I'm still being paired with players that are usually way above me. Here we go, level 27. I'll take a look at him. I might 
reconsider, but let's have a look. So, a bunch of cannons. Uh, that one boom cannon, which is going to be priority. Um, but what I mean is, you know, he's... Well, actually, I don't quite get about him, because I wouldn't say he's very offensive. Because I'm looking at his stuff here. I mean, yes, he's a warrior person, but... I'm assuming he's like an NPC raider or something. Hmm, something makes me think I should attack from this side. Cannon's probably going to be able to see me, isn't it? Um, hmm. Maybe I just don't trust my troops. Maybe that's it. Maybe I just don't. I don't trust how to the you know how capable or not they may be. There'll be a lot more cannons, but uh, it's a level two boom mine. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Um, I could probably ignore one of the ca like one cannon probably won't not gonna do a lot, but if I can get into this sort of corner here. We'll see level he's only HQ level twelve. We're gonna give it a try. This might kill me. It might just show you how bad of a bad of a person I am for attacking players. But let's just sort of barrage this crap away. Um just get rid of all that. Um We'll see how this goes, but I may, I may, I may as well sacrifice a heavy on the mines. Yeah, that was that hurt one of the heavies, but come along, Zookas, mine the mine, uh, med kit, uh, cannon can see the heavies, but uh, I'm, I could probably sh get away with shocking it. HQ. Let's go. We need all the firepower up front. We could probably burn this down. They can't get... Those defences can't get through the heavies quick enough. There we go. Okay, so, you know, I, I do attack players if I deem them weak enough, but as you can tell, I still lost, a f well, most of my heavy shield, but I suppose that's why you, you have heavies with Zookas. Zookas, Zookas are the glass cannons, which need uh, um, defending, but there you go. Oh, I can create something. What can I make? Huh. And apparently I can upgrade something, so let's just take a look at these. See what this idol is. It's probably not going to be any good to me, but we'll take a look. True damage plus 4%. No. I have a flipping um, masterpiece for that. Um, and apparently I can upgrade something. What's going to upgrade? Mines. Uh, why the hell not? I also got my um, rifleman up to level eight, so might try. In the, maybe in the next video, I might try um, a couple of attacks with them, having just you know for something different, some different troops and whatnot. But I think that will probably do for now. Um, slightly, well, a couple minutes shorter video, but there you go. New new base. You see me do a couple of attacks. Uh, like I said, very very ironic that I'm not getting completely blown out the water as much as I used to. Um, but yeah, I, I, what can I say? It's just it's typical. I, I, I make videos ex just saying that, oh no, I'm in such a, you know, mess, to be honest, with all the people being higher level than me. They still are. I mean, look, there's level 45 here. Like, really? There's no way in hell I could do this, base. But you, you get my point. <laughs> people are still way, way higher level than me, so... I don't know. I I I'll just try and stay around two hundred ish um marker, you know, for victory points and uh we'll we'll go from there. I might have some different videos coming up on my channel soon, maybe some uh, computer related videos because you may or may not know, um probably not because I haven't said it before, but I am a complete mad computer geek. I'm the I have uh, seven computers. Believe that on believe that or not, if you uh, will or not, but uh, <laughs> uh there's all that and I'm I don't know, might do something on those lines, may even do some different video series, but uh, as long as it doesn't require editing, as long as I can just record it and upload it, I don't really care, because uh, I am lazy, and I don't mind recording videos, I just don't have time or the patience, no I have time, I don't have the patience even, <laughs> to edit videos, 
So as long as I can press record, say my commentary, show you a bunch of stuff, and then call it a day. These boats are just reappearing as soon as I click on them. Uh, but anyway, thank you all for watching, um, and I'll see you in the next video.